One of the next things we can do to customize our tenant is to create a custom domain. Right now, if we take a look at our Intune portal, you can see that my domain, the tenant name, is intune291.onmicrosoft.com. And that would mean that any users that need to log into this tenant would be typing their username, so Dean, at intune291.onmicrosoft.com. And that isn't very easy to type. That doesn't really roll off the tongue, and it's quite a long thing to have to type. So what we can do, in the same way we have with normal email addresses, we can customize that to make it our own. So what we do is we jump into the uh, admin center up here, and from here, all we need to do is go down to setup and then scroll down to get your custom domain set up. Click on that. And then we just choose get started. Now, in my case, the domain I'm using for this demonstration is registered with GoDaddy. So I'm going to log into the GoDaddy portal to do some of this, uh, some of this process. For now, let's take a look at what we've got. So it's my domain is firstcoffee.co.uk. I'm going to choose use this domain. It's going to check to see whether I've already prepared and put in the prerequisites for this. Um, in this case, it's, it says that because I'm using GoDaddy, we can directly verify it. And that is an option that we can just click on uh, verify and it will automatically do that uh, verification for us if we sign into the GoDaddy account and give Microsoft permission to create the necessary DNS records for us, then it can automatically do that for us. In this case, I also want to look at more options though, because I want to see what we could do if we didn't have a GoDaddy as um, as the as the DA, as the registrar for this domain. So we can look at adding a text record to the DNS. If we can't add a text record, then we can perhaps add a, an MX record to the DNS records. And if not, we can add a text file to the website itself. Now, I don't have a website that I'm running on this domain. It's just a domain that I'm using for for identity and email and, and naming. So I'm going to go ahead and add a text record. So let's choose add a text record and then continue. So you can see what it's suggesting is that I use these step by step instructions. The the information I need to actually add into the DNS record though is this text name, this text value, and this time to live value. So let's jump over to the um, the GoDaddy web page now and take a look. So in DNS management for my domain, firstcoffee.co.uk, we're just going to go to add. And then the record type was text, txt. And if we take a look at what the other instruction was, it was uh, at. So let's do an at. And then the remainder of that was uh, an ms equals value here, which is a unique string that it uses to verify that this domain is ours. So that's going to be in the value of that just there. And then the time to live was 3,600. That's about an hour. That's exactly an hour. Great. So we've done that. We've added that text record. So I'll just jump down to see where it is. Text record. And there it is just in the middle there. So it's all set up and ready to go. The, the next step is to verify it. So we're going to click on verify, but the issue is that DNS isn't instant. In my case, I've given it a few seconds. I'll go, I'll click try. If not, I'm going to wait maybe an hour up to 24 hours and click verify again. So let's try it now. Okay, great. So it says domain setup is complete. We've verified the domain belongs to us and now we're ready to go. So I'll click on done. And you can see it's it's it says this is ready. The other way to verify this is to jump into the Azure Active Directory Admin Center just at the bottom there. We then go into Azure Active Directory and then down to Custom Domains. At this point, you can see I've got my two domains here. I've got my original Intune291.onmicrosoft.com and I've got firstcoffee.co.uk. This status is verified and it's also the primary domain. So any user that I create within this tenant will now have firstcoffee.co.uk as their UPN suffix or the end of their email address. Finally, to make it easier for me to sign in in the future, I'm going to change my domain to be uh, my custom domain. So we'll just choose our users and then find me. 
and I'm going to change my UPN here. I'm going to choose Edit, and then you can see we've got a user printable name. I'm just going to change that to Dean at firstcoffee.co.uk. As you can see, it's got a green tick, which means it's all verified. We choose Save, and then we'll log out and log back in and see that change. So I'm logged in, I've got my new UPN just up at the top here, firstcoffee.co.uk, so we're now customized. In the next video, we're going to look at how to navigate through the Azure portal and navigate through the Endpoint Manager portal so that we get a feel for how we can start to make use of Intune.